This little box is part one of Two Small Orders Placed with Zeep. So, wait a minute, not open that. Not good with unboxings. I need a tripod. Pad. Pod. Hi. It says, Rebecca. Hey, love. Thank you so much from the Zip team. I always say it's Zip. It's actually Zip. What do you know? I think this will be my fruity pebbles. For oh, no, it's not. Okay, no mind. Never mind. Oh. This is Orange is a New Pink. I am in love with this scent. I've got it in... Well, I had it in wax and I've also got it in a whipped soap, but why won't you focus? It's, oh my god, it's so perfect. It's like fruity and sweet and just... It doesn't help that I have really shaky hands. I don't know why. Pressure. Right, and this, I got, so two of these. So these are body meringues, basically body lotions. Um, I also have the whipped soap of this. And I've used the wax of this, sadly, but... I'll be able to wash with it and then layer it on afterwards. So I'm going to have a wee smell of these. I bet they're amazing. Thank you, Ashley. Oh, oh my God. I have a sample of something. What? Oh my gosh. I have a wax sample. I love Zip's wax. Um, Never Never Land. A wee pretty wee heart. I'm so happy because I love this blend, so I can't wait to smell it. <coughs> that really is the box is quite empty. Okay, this is my second small package from Zeep. This will be my Fruity Pebbles whipped soap. Um, I've just went and put <laughs> both of the Zeep meringues on my arms. Um, because I'm special, I put orange is the new pink on this one. I put lavender soda on... Sova? Lavender soda on this one. Um, so I smell... Different smells on each side of me. Okay. Oh. Right. Wow. Mine's is quite orange. Like, I thought it was going to be red. It's like a total rainbow. It's so pretty. Get it cracked open and smell it. So just given this a smell, it is so true to type. Um, such a gorgeous cereal smell. I absolutely love cereal blends when they're done quite well. There's a couple I can't stand because they're a bit too heavy on orange and stuff. This natural light is sort of not working for me. Very good. My phone is on the verge of dying, so the focus isn't great. Anyway. Really, really pretty colours. And now, uh, I, when I was opening it to smell, a tiny bit came off and I'm trying to screw the lid back on. So now I had to rub it into my hand, smell of fruity pebbles, lavender soda, and the oranges and your pink. I rummaged in here and I also, I'm really pleased, got another wax sample. This one is called... If I could just stop my hand shaking. Okay, I don't even know what this is called. Ham, no. Flamingerang? I <laughs> seriously don't know. I'm going to give it a quick smell. I'm guessing there's coconut going on in there. Could be just me. Thank you again so much, Ashley. I've then got this little box. This is the second um, and last D stash purchase. Um, I know that she put in a couple of wax melt samples, so I'm really pleased. My first time trying Up North Creations. Hang on. I've not heard too much about them, but Love Spell you can't go wrong with. Um, Victoria's Secret Drip. And it's a cute wee skull. Oh, <laughs> nothing works out for me when I do an unboxing. Whether it's the phone or my own shaky, slippy hands, right? Anyway, this week I will probably smell good. I'll give it a wee 
Yep, really lovely and strong. I'll let you go off the spell. Um, I have another sample in here. I don't think I knew about this. Um, hang on. Gypsies Mixies. I don't know who that is, but Mango Sorbet. I love fruity scents, so clearly, because the whip soap that I bought off the girl is orange. Right, anyway. Hmm. It doesn't smack you in the face strong, but it's... I'm sure it will probably be really nice when it's melted. I don't know who this company is. At first I thought it said Gypsy Monroe Wax, but no. I don't know who that is. Hang on. And this is what I've been really looking forward to. I actually bought this during summer because that's when I started building my stuff up at my suite in Nevada. And this is the first thing I bought way back then. So I've been waiting for this for quite a while. Because I use Shapito, um, a male forwarding company. And... Um, it's so much better than my mall box. I never use my mall box, but anyway, <laughs> I tend to sort of order over time, build up my orders, then what's called consolidate them all into the one big package. As you can tell, that's actually the biggest box I've had. Um, and then I ship it all over to myself instead of shipping individual packages. And I know I've got one more little thing in here. This is. Another wee wax sample. This is from Candy Panda. It's called Peeps. Um, I know she's already pre sort of chopped it, but it's a freebie. I'm not complaining. I don't actually know what Peeps is. I'm taking it as like you, you American guys will. I was going to say people. That sounds so rude. You know what I mean? You guys are quite big on Peeps. The wee bunnies and stuff. I actually don't even know what the heck it's supposed to smell like. Hang on. Okay, it's like a really strong marshmallowy cake type, yeah? I know it's bakery anyway. Oops, a daisy. Because I know that they are edible in real life, right? Yeah, and please excuse the fact that I babble absolute crap. Right, so I need to give this a smell. But. Oh my god, it's gorgeous. It's just straight up like fresh tangy orange. And look at that swirl. I really like Candy Panda's whip soaps. I have too many scrubs from all the vendors and I really need to be building up my whip soaps because they're the ones I like the best and use the most and you can sort of, you know, cocktail them better than you can scrubs. Sometimes you can put them Mix them up in a sieve with, for bubbles, but you can't do that with a scrub. So thank you, Gail, for this. So on to part one of two little orders I have from Mad Bear Beauty. These are from, not the pre-order just there, but the one before, when she first started doing them because I'd missed out on the restock, so I had to grab a couple of these boxes. I'm kind of gutted I didn't grab the surprise one because I would have liked to try something that I haven't tried, but to be honest, these are fail-safes, what I've ordered, because I um, absolutely love them. There is a couple in here I haven't tried. Don't know which box this is, so let me open this up off camera. Hang on. So I've got this cute little sticker. And yay, I have one of the new cards. No, focus going on. Sorry, I'm so, so paranoid when I film. I hate the quality to be off. Um, this phone is going in the bin. I'm not even joking. But I can't get a new phone because my credit rating is so shit. I can't even get accepted for a phone. I feel it like. Right, hang on. Oh, I have a sample. I said that should be bath bomb sample. I have no clue what it is. I'm going to give it a smell and see if... That gives off a clue. Okay, it won't open, hang on. Mm. 
I don't actually, I don't know, is it the Twilight one? The, the Twilight is a bomb, I am desperate to get my hands on from Mad Bear Beauty. Um, and I still haven't. It, I could be wrong. It smells really nice, whatever it is. So, what are we going to come across first of all? Oh, Jesus. Oh, this is one I haven't tried. I'm so excited. Is this called Starburst, I believe? I know that everyone and their nanny has already demoed the shit out of this on Instagram, but I don't even care. I know it's going to smell amazing. And it has arrived intact. I'm so happy because I've not been having the best luck with bath bombs lately. It's a really good size as well. I'm going to see I can't quite smell it through the packaging but I know that if it's got a sweet smell to it it's going to be blooming amazing so that's number one. Oh, this is another one that's new to me Ugh, jam with it so excited to try this this scent is just right up my alley it's so beautiful, oh my god. It's even nicer in person than than the pictures. Oh wait, there's like the tiniest wee bit I'll be able to smell. Hang on. I think. Oh my god, it's so lovely. It literally has like jam. Such a good size as well. I feel like I'm just going to hoard these bombs and not use them. I think I've been... I've become quite bad at hoarding bath bombs rather than like scrubs and things and bath bombs are so much better used when they're fresh, I agree. Anyway, look at that glitter. Glitter, glitter, glitter. I can't even. It's so pretty. So there should be one more in here, I think. Yeah, there is. I think it's mermaid. No, no, wrong. Oh, it's after the rain. You guys will all know after the rain. I have used this once before and I absolutely love it. I love the smell of it. It's so sweet and I love all those colours that pop out of it. And again, another intact bomb, I think. I'm going to say that and then something will happen to it. So pretty. So this is my second box from Mad Bear Beauty. Um, I'm worried because it's a little bashed up, but it's like already open. Oh my god! Actually, look. Oh, please be okay. It's because it's bath bombs, you just panic. Okay, so we have this. Again, I probably have a sticker in here somewhere. Might have even fallen out. Oh, I have another free sample. Slightly different colours, so thank you, Mallory, for that. Hmm, wonder what that could be. So I can feel mermaid tears. This has literally become my favourite thing ever. I say that about so many things. I love the scent of this, it's really unique and it's really hard to describe. Like, I don't know, it's, it's very perfumey. I absolutely love this bath bomb. The bath art is so crazy from like all of her bombs though. I was going to say just this one, um, all of them though. So I'm so glad that is not broken. Little beat up box by USPS. Um, okay, this is the last new to me bomb. Hang on. In fact, there is only two in this box, sorry. I'm forgetting. This is Enchantress. I have seen many of you demo this and I'm really excited. Again, I love the shape of this bomb and the size of it. It's really generous. I have no idea the scent. I can't actually remember. Is it like pretty sweet? Whatever, I would have picked it because of it being sweet at least, so look at the glitter on that. Can't beat a bit of glitter. It's lovely. Oh, 
can't wait to use this as well. So that is my two Mad Bear Beauty orders. I think? Yes. <laughs> so this is the next one. This, oh shit, I'm just putting my, oh no, it's okay, it's my American address, I don't even live there. Um, Vintage Road Candles, so, so excited for this. As you guys know, this is a wax company that I absolutely love. Um, I put the flash on, but I don't quite think I should have. We'll see. Um, she started branching out in body care. I've posted about one of her scrubs before. It's no fairy rose jam mix. It's mostly, I would say, uh, rose jam. Anyway, I really love the quality of that. And then I was hoping she would bring out my favourite wax blend, um, American Pie, in body care. And it's taken a lot of months of hard work on her part and impatience on mine. And it's here. So we should open it. So, I need to really get better at opening things because I just like stabbed myself with the knife I'm using. I can't seem to contain myself. Right, thank you so much for your purchase. So, I used to rip this sticker open and everything and hate doing it and now I've realised that if I just lift it, my stuff will be, you know, underneath and it will be intact. So... We have our little card, Z. Um, a wee note and then business card and my invoice. So let's dive in here. Oh my G. Look at it. Look at it. Oh my God. And yes, to anyone who knows me and is like, rhubarb? That says rhubarb in there. She hates rhubarb. Yes, but it's not detectable whatsoever. Oh my god, I absolutely love this. And it's a slightly amended recipe from the wax, so I'm excited to see if it's, you know, similar. Or oh, hopefully the same. Uh, Sarah seems to think it is, and she makes it, so I believe her. Um, that would have been the whip soap, and this is the scrub, am I right? Hang on. Yeah, this is the scrub, this is the soap, yeah. So this is slightly darker, bolder kind of colours. I just had to get both extra. Um, and oh, and there's lotion as well. I'm going to be lotion, don't we not? Um, American Pie lotion. It's quite a good size as well. Oh, it's all sort of shifted over there. I've never seen that before. It looks as if it's going to be quite thick because, look, if it focuses. <laughs> it's like all separated funny. So I'm gonna give them a little sniff in a minute. In fact now and then I'm gonna I've got a couple of wax things in here as well. Okay, so I've just opened to smell and oh my days, Sarah, you've nailed it. It is exactly the same as the wax. Oh I'm quite excited <laughs> um to use them if I ever bring myself to. Right, so on to oh Wax. First of all, I actually have samples. Pink Flamingo. Hang on, any form of focus? Lime Margarita, Country Lemonade, Cotton Candy. They've got ever so smushed. So I'm assuming they were supposed to be like little fruit slice shapes, but not to worry. It's travelled from the US, so I totally expect a bit of smush. It's going to smell great anyway. All of this VRC wax smells great. It's really nice, quite tangy, fizzy. Nice. Sarah's super generous with her samples. I've got like two more samples, hang on. Um, so this is blackberry spice tea. That is not something I would normally pick, but I bet you anything I like it because this always happens with when I get wax samples. Blackberry spice tea, so blackberry spiced cider, Earl Grey tea, which is what I drink. Um, I love tea. I'm gonna try and give this a wee smell. Hmm. I don't dislike it, so I bet you when it's melting, I'll end up really liking it. It's so awesome and cute though. Look, little leaf, leaves. Any focus going on anything? Thank you. Honestly, you guys can work with daylight so good, and 
I just cheat and film at night usually and use the flash. But yeah. Okay, oh, another free sample. Hang on. This is not working. Hang on. <laughs> Where are you going? Gain apple, cucumber, watermelon, cotton candy. Wow. A bizarre blend. Hang on. Okay, there's just like no focus going on whatsoever anymore. Thank you. Let's give this a quick sniff. Very nice. Sorry, I'm just so obsessed with the focus. Please, is this another sample? Right, so I am on to sample number four, Jizo. And this is one that sounds amazing. It is Blackberry Beachy Nights. Sweet Blackberries, Graham Crackers. By the way, what is Graham's Crackers? Is it something that you guys sort of eat a lot? Um, because I don't know what they are. And they're in a lot of wax blends. And a lot of wax blends that I would buy. And then I see that and I think, what is that? Would I like that? And then I don't order. <laughs> Just in case. Toasted marshmallow and salty sea breeze. So I'll give this a quick smell. It's so generous with the samples. Sarah, thank you. I don't know what I even get off of it, but it's nice. Mm -hmm. All the samps. Right, now we've got onto the wax I did order, probably. What's that? So we've got sea minerals, um, ocean breeze, blue lotus flower, sea botanicals, eucalyptus, sandalwood. So a nice, fresh, earthy, beachy. All the sea. So let's get this. My video cut out there and I don't really know why. I'm hoping that I have storage left because I've still got a lot of boxes to go. Um, it's really nice. There's a sort of like light spa kind of hint of even men's cologne. It's really nice. I think it's going to really come out when it's burning though. There's, I like the size of the shot seas. This is actually the first like shot cup I've got. I'm the type of person that melts the whole thing because I'm nose blind otherwise so these are a good price for you know a one time melt as well. Next of all oh this is another scent so up my alley. Um, strawberry cream soda can't go wrong with strawberry can't go wrong with cream soda and there's wafer vanilla cream in there just to Spice things up, not literally, right. Wow, it's like really, really creamy strawberry. I definitely get mostly the strawberry from it. I want to take it out and see it, hang on. It's so cute. It's, it's like a strawberry split you know the strawberry splits well we get them over here um it's basically just strawberry ice lolly with the vanilla ice cream and then said that's exactly what it smells like i really want to eat it <laughs> so Beep. and the last wax that i got is rose jam vanilla tea and cakes rose jam type vanilla bean noel type and tea and cakes because of the shape it's so cute Really good size. Right, so I had to go and free up some storage um, because apparently these videos are really, really long. Um, I've just noticed that I have something in here. I have no idea. Wait. Oh, I know what it is. I'm thinking, what the hell is this? It's ice because they had it really hot. It's like not ice anymore. It's total smush. I'm sitting going, what is that in there? Is that like a sweet or something? Anyway, so that is, yeah, now the box is empty. Thank you, Sarah. So, you guys, this is a much anticipated order. Uh, Ash Sugar Sugars summer pre order. Yes, I'm really late and obviously getting this because they're onto like the Halloween stuff and everything, but they're not my kind of sense anyway. I like to miss out on those. Um, this is the restock I've been waiting for an entire year. I was so excited about it. 
So first up on the top, we've got my only actually set of wax. I really love their wax. I've had their one of their clamshells. I always use two with everyone else, but one of their clamshells in bowl pop. Favorite scent, and oh my god, is it strong? So I really wish I ordered more wax, but doesn't matter. Right, let's get smelling this. Yes, I opened it with my mouth. Oh my god, so strong, so amazing. Spiked lemonade, which I have the frosting for, and I've bought another one in this order, so I have two now. Um, oh my god, this is something I have hunted and hunted and hunted and de-stashes for. Never ever got lucky, and now I have two of my own fresh ones. So can't wait to smell it. I think I'm not even gonna like it because these are my last sort of ISO items. Two seconds to open it. <laughs> so I've opened it, given it a little smell. Um, for some bizarre reason, it reminds me of another frosting from Ashigar that has none of the same scent notes. So that's really weird to me. It's a bit like Namaste to me. I know, my nose is obviously off. So pretty though. Look at it. It's kind of slimy on the outside. I think one of the frostings is obviously leaked a tiny bit. But anyway, I have two of these. So, next of all, let's see what we've got here. Mwah, look at those mangoes, it's called Mango, Peach, Orange, Strawberry and Sugar. Now that is just a lot of amazing scents wrapped into one, I have to say. I'm going to smell them in a minute, I'm just going to kind of quickly buzz through the rest of these because I know that my storage is running low. This is Sparkly Mojito. So, where's the scent notes for this? Hello, phone. Sorry. Iced sugar cane, crushed mint and sparkling soda. These are the prettiest things ever. I have an entire drawer of Ash Sugar Sugar. Maybe I'll get round to showing you guys one time. Honestly, it's like a crazy amount of stuff in there. This. Oh, I'm really excited about this one. This is supposed to be... Well, it's actually a mix of a dupe for Frozen and a dupe for Olive Branch from Lush. I'm not big on Olive Branch, but I am big on Frozen. So, I'm going to, as I said, smell all of these in a wee minute. Tell you my thoughts. Here is my Spike Lemonade Sugar-Free Frosting. Same scent as the wax. So, pink lemonade, iced champagne, sugared lemons. And I already know that I love this. I've got the glass jar of this. And I liked it so much. <laughs> oh, here's my wee custard. This is the first time I've ever got one of their, what they're called, custards. Blueberry yum yum. So it is, hello, blueberry donuts and fresh coconut sprinkles. And a lot of people, they sort of keep them in the fridge and use it as a, quite a cooling lotion. So when you take it out and you apply it, it feels really nice. This is the first custard I've got. I have a couple of meringues which is their name, obviously, for body lotions as well. So, I'm running really low on storage, but that is a little shite load of things. Right. This, this is another thing, just like Beach Please, it was in my dislike list for the longest time. Could never get a hold of it, and then I got two of them, because I know I'm going to love it. Glazed lemon cookies and powdered sugar. Look at that bright, bright yellow. And one of these will be another lemon buttons, yep. I think this is the culprit for leakage. And this one is... You're a peach, peach, orange, melon and rose. It's gorgeous. You can't really see. It's got some really pretty glitter. There we go. And that is just my other Beach Please backup, so I'm not going to film opening that. <laughs> I've deleted so much stuff off my phone and I still have three minutes left of recording time. But whatever. This is my Afaro's Kiss order. 
which I placed because Christina, aka Bath Bomb Lover, has posted a lot of their stuff and the bombs look amazing and obviously she has this amazing discount that I used. So it says, Rebecca, thanks so much for ordering and thank you for your patience. Huh? Hope you enjoy your goodies. Hmm. I am not patient. Anyway, let's see. Ooh! So I went ahead and opened a couple and so I undid the tape and the others but I haven't probably unwrapped them yet. It's a really noisy one more going on outside. Whatever. Typical. Right, this is La Luna Apple Honey. Look at the detail on this. It's wow. Perfect. <laughs> um, this is starfish. Those cool scales, it's the mermaidy looking coconut mango pineapple. Um, then this is Twinkle Twinkle Bitch, I believe. Yeah, berries and whipped cream. So pretty. Two stars. Um, this one doesn't want to come out. <laughs> this is the Eye of Ra, and it's scented in citrus sugar, black pepper, and musk. Look at this guy, it's so cute. It's a teeny bit crumbled from the journey. Such a cute little size. But I know that it puts on quite a big show. Then we've got, I think this is blueberry fucking lawnmower. Ugh. Right, yeah, sparkling blueberry. It has a purple centre. This bomb is actually so much prettier in real life. It's reflecting really badly, but it's actually quite glittery and Really lovely dark blue colour. This, I don't recognise this, so I don't believe I ordered this. What is it? Raspberry, so no, I did not. This is a sample. It's the same size as the blueberry one as well, so it's like a full size sample. Thank you very, very much, girl. I do like raspberry, so it's not gonna go to waste. This one is a little bit of, he is so cute, he's called, oh yeah, a good little bit of vanilla, lavender and tea tree. Try to show you him in the light, away from the light. He's really cute, really, really detailed. <laughs> um more oh my days toxic unicorn I think this is called and it's scented in strawberry pineapple banana and coconuts it's gorgeous and the last one I think this is siren it's called siren something I don't know Siren Souls, it's Blue Lagoon. Look at this. Look! So, this is the second last package to open. It's one I'm super excited for. It's Bomb Diggy. Let's get open in this. Oh! Oh my gosh. I have waited for this moment for such a long time and it says Rebecca thank you boo I hope you dig your goods enjoy much love ja Jamie is it hope I pronounced that right ooh, ooh, ooh. look at all this candy 
I'm actually super excited for this part as much as the actual goods because obviously this is candy that we don't actually get here. So, it's so cool. Ah, there's like more. It's like never ending goods. What's this? Oh. And oh my god, straight off the bat, I can see one of two jungle boogies. Oh my god, I'm so excited. Look at this. It's so pretty. This box smells so good. Oh look, there's more sweets. I think this is gonna keep happening. It's consistent. Things are sweet. Yes, it is. Look. Oh, that is. They're all like sour as well, I really like sour stuff. Oh look, I even have a little sample. Which is of 16th and Collins. It feels like bath bomb dust, I think. Whoa. What's this called again? Silly rabbit. It is stunning. This is Eat a Peach Bath Bomb. So yeah, Eat a Peach Bath Bomb. Did did it. It's gorgeous and I can even smell the really true peachy slick smell through the wrapper. Freedom! Again, one that everyone in their ninny has tried, but I don't really care. Um, this is the white one actually, I believe, but it looks golden white. I cannot wait to use this. Oh, and I even have another sample! Oh my god, thank you Jamie, that's really kind of you. 16th and Collins as well. So this is so fresh, so clean, I believe. Nope, nope. Fresh to death. Um, my bad. That is stunning. Then we've got another jungle boogie. I'm loving like how well wrapped and how pristine these have arrived from country to country. So girls just want to have fun. I love the wee cassette tape. Oh, wee stars getting there. Mm, nice subtle sort of fruity scent. So I think that is me. Yes. Thank you, Jamie. Hey, uh, so before opening this, I wanted to just appreciate the strategically placed cute little stickers. I know Elisa's daughter helps her stick all of these on. I think that's so cute because Max loves to help me with stuff like that. And I love what a personal sort of touch that is. And I don't, obviously. So, before I open this, as you guys may or may not know, this is my custom bath bomb order. Um, and I've left it till last because I'm most excited about this. So, it's actually supposed to be this way. A little bow. And it says special delivery for Rebecca from the second breath. Huh? Loft? I really can't read. Uh, you are loved. Oh, look. What was cute little note ever. That's so sweet. And it says, Rebecca, thank you so much for choosing me to do your custom Disney bombs. I hope you enjoy all of your goodies. Be sure to share about them on social media. Yes! Um, for a chance of a free custom bath bomb. Well, what's say no to that? I'm going to share anyway because I know these are going to be amazing. What's this little thing? Ooh. Be the light. It's so cute. Now, I don't even know how to open this because it's like... I'm very, very intricate. Hang on. 
So that was just a case of untying the bow. Anyway, all of this is just so, so carefully and pretty, prettily, is that even a word? Packaged, I can't even, okay, I'm just gonna have to rip it because I can't lift it. Oh, and I can, oh, she's got a little card, that is awesome. Oh, look at this little thing. Hello. Teeny tiny bath duck. <laughs> oh. And um, this looks like, I don't know, shower gel? Body wash? So cute. I love these little extras. I always see her little extras when I watch the unboxings from others with their custom bath bombs. And I'm excited to see what I got in here. So, I got the little roses. Little bath roses. I reckon these are bath melts. This one... Hello. Is intact. This little guy got smashed up, but as long as my actual bath bombs aren't smashed, I'm gonna cry if they were. But yeah, bath melts. This magic bath sprinkle. Oh my god, there's quite a lot of this. It looks as if it's a really good quality as well. And that's a weird thing to say, but there's a lot in here. Thank you, Lisa. Am I even saying your name right? Is it Alyssa, Alisa? Obviously, with different sort of accents and stuff. What is this cute little thing? You need to tell me what this is. <laughs> it smells cool. Okay, so... Oh my god. So, this is my... Alice in Wonderland bomb! Oh my god, guys, look. Oh, I'll let you look, but it's thankfully very tightly packaged. So. Oh my frigging god. Even better in person. I thought, oh, she took amazing pictures, you know. They can't top that, but yes, in real life. Look at the design of this. I chose Alisa in the first place because of her attention to detail and look at all of this. So amazing. Next, I'm gonna open this. Oh, I was just about to say, I don't recognize this one. This must be an extra. Oh my god, thank you, girl. Tweet bird bath bomb. Oh, it's totally my style as well. As you can tell, because all my bombs that I ordered are sort of this shape as well, and I really like things like that. Chunky the bear. Thank you. I'm so pleased with the condition that everything has come to me in as well. These are so well wrapped and kept. Hang on. Look at this, Bobby! This is my 101 Dalmatian, obviously. Themed bomb. It's a scented in again. Charming breeze. I think it's going to be quite a aftershavey, beachy type. Oh my god, it's amazing. And look at this guy. Look! Pinocchio, Jiminy Cricket. And she said she can't draw. These are a class. She is very artistic and to think you've only been doing this since January girl, I think I think you're lying because you're so so good at what you do. Grapple in paradise. I actually don't Oh wait, it's fruity. Fruit fruit fruit. She's given it its own like scent name. So cute. And this is my Lady in the Trap one. Look at that, so cute! Was it an actual bath bomb, guys? Oh my god. Look at those designs. Love it. So this is my Lion King bomb. I think this is the only secular one actually out of the lot. No wait, it's not. The Pinocchio one is. Lies. Look at this. So, so well put together. Love it. I love Disney and I love all the Disney classics. 
so that's why the custom order for Disney bombs because it's just a combination of my favourite sort of movies. And last, this um, is not part of my order, so this is a freebie. It's called the Mare Lady Bath Bomb, scented in Strappleberry Kiss. Does that mean like strawberry, apple, raspberry? I don't know. I'm going to love it anyway because she does what scents are like. Look at this. This is so cool. I do indeed love mermaids. Oh, it smells lovely. I'm just in absolute awe and love with all of my bombs and with this package because you could just sort of tell the love that's gone into it and the, you know, this is someone doing this in her family home. And I can't wait till she opens shop and I can get more from her and you guys can try her as well because I can't wait to use these. That's the end of my unboxing by the way guys. Sorry it's a bit hectic. This was stressful. <laughs> Love you.